Now, the difference between weight and mass often confuses a lot of people at GCSE. And the reason for this is that the language that we use in the GCSE physics classroom is often very different from the normal language we use in everyday life. So even though I'm a physics teacher and I know the difference between mass and weight, when I talk about maybe going to the supermarket, I want to look at the weight of something that I'm buying, I'll see it measured in grams on the packet. I might go to the gym, I go on the weighing scales, and then I record my weight in kilograms. But that is not the kind of proper way of doing things. Now, if we think about mass, first of all, the mass of an object, perhaps this astronaut here, is always measured in kilograms. And it's really a measure of the amount of stuff in that object. So this astronaut, no matter where they are, they will always have a mass of 100 kilograms, just like this mass down here will always have a mass of 100 grams. It doesn't matter where it goes, it's got the same amount of material inside it, and therefore its mass doesn't change. But if we were to take the same object and we moved it around different parts of the solar system or even the universe, the force it experiences due to gravity will change. And this is its weight. Now, if we think about something maybe like this lunar lander uh, that landed on the moon, as it left the Earth, where there was a big force pulling it down due to the gravitational attraction of the Earth, as it went up to the moon, which is a lot smaller, there was less of a gravitational force pulling it down, and therefore it experienced a smaller force called weight. And this is something actually really important. When it comes to labelling forces, the downwards arrow, um, you shouldn't record it as gravity. I mean, gravity causes weight, but the force that, that this object experiences is called its weight. And again, we measure weight in newtons because it's a force. So what we find is that depending where an object is in the universe, depending upon the object that's actually attracting it, the object's weight really depends upon two things. It depends upon the mass of the object, you know, how much stuff is in the object, and also the gravitational field strength at that point. Often this is 9.8 uh, newtons per kilogram. Sometimes we round it up to 10 newtons per kilogram. But again, you might be given data in a question which is completely different. So it could be 1.6 newtons per kilogram for our moon around the Earth. But again, there's lots of other moons, lots of other exoplanets, lots of other bodies where we might think about the weight of an object. So this is the equation we can use if we want to work out the weight of an object which has a certain mass. Now we use uh, the letter capital W to be the weight. Uh, and this is equal to the mass, which is little m, multiplied by the gravitational field strength, which is just g. Okay, now um, because weight is a force, it has the units of the newton. Mass is kilograms. And this is always key. Sometimes there's questions where they give you a mass and they need you to use a weight, or they maybe give you the weight and they need you to use a mass. It's often uh, worth actually checking the units, actually reading the question carefully to decide which one you've been given in that question. Now, because uh, g um, is the force per unit mass, um, this is then got, has got the units of newtons per kilogram. And on Earth, the value of this is approximately 10 uh, newtons per kilogram. Often, it's also given as 9.8 newtons per kilogram. But it really depends on sometimes which exam board you're doing or which question you've been given. Sometimes they prefer to use the value of 9.8. And if you're not sure, this is a better one to use. Uh, sometimes they just round up and say, well, actually, that's close enough to 10 newtons per kilogram. And actually, when it comes on to A level, we tend to use 9.81 newtons per kilogram. That's obviously on the Earth where most of the things that we're looking at actually happen. But you've got to remember that sometimes there might be a question about, you know, maybe the mass or the, the weight of something on another planet or another moon. So the value of the gravitational field strength on our moon is 1.6 newtons uh, per kilogram. So it's a lot less. And again, they might give you a question where there's somebody going off to maybe some exoplanet or some far off moon where there's a different value. What does that mean? Well, it means that this... Uh, astronaut here, maybe the weight, sorry, the mass of this astronaut and their equipment might be 100 kilograms. Now they're always going to have a mass of 100 kilograms no matter where they are in the universe, but if they went on to the Earth, they would have a value of 100 kilograms times 9.8, which would be equal to 980 newtons if they were on the Earth. But when they got onto the moon, even though their mass hasn't changed because of the, the, the pull of the, uh, the moon on them is a lot less, that means the gravitational field strength goes down and they might now have a weight of 160 newtons. 
So what we can see is their mass stays the same, but weight really depends on where that object is in the universe.